You know those memes where the YouTuber says, I'm gonna do a bin of mining off camera and then just shows this? Well, I'm gonna do that, except entirely in survival Minecraft. And when I go through this portal, you'll see that this is, um, a normal island. But I'm gonna turn this into the most expensive island in Minecraft. Every grass block is gonna be replaced by emeralds. Every lake is gonna be replaced by diamonds. And every piece of sand is gonna be replaced by gold. Now let's start with what may be the hardest part, the emerald. And luckily, people on this SMP already built an emerald farm, so I shouldn't have to worry about that. I made that. This should be the raid farm. This is maybe the most ugly storage system I've ever seen. But whatever, uh, let's just start a raid. Okay, we got a lot of emeralds. Time to start placing. Oh, good thing I paused the video right before that creeper exploded. <sighs> you know what? That looks pretty good. A little ugly. We're not going for the most beautiful island, right? We're going for the most expensive island. Okay, and now it's time to AFK in the raid farm for more emeralds. Oh my god, vexes are spawning. Normally they aren't that much of a pro- Oh shoot. Normally it's not that bad, but um, I'm wearing leather armor. You know the saying, act broke to stay rich? I just think it would be funny to become the richest person on the server while wearing the worst armor in the game. Now, it might seem like I have a ton of emeralds that I need to place down, but luckily all I actually have to do is grab my emerald wand from over here, take the wand, and bam. Okay, um... I don't know if this looks impressive or not, but I used all of my emerald. But guys, I have a really, really massive problem that's gonna make this project basically impossible. Um, I'm bored. I'm bored of, of emerald. Day. Luckily though, um, I have a problem, which can distract me from the constant threat of emeralds. I kinda need a base, or at least some place to stay on this island, uh, because currently my shulker boxes are just all out for the world to see. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't want the world to see them. And in order to make this base, I need a tree. And in order to make a tree, I need copper and amethyst. Rumor says, if you see a geode underneath the ocean, there's gonna be amethyst inside. Oh, I was right. With copper, I'm gonna head into what may be the ugliest room ever, uh, and steal. He won't mind if I just, yep, no, it, it looks looks good as new. And if we come upstairs, uh, you'll see that it's a basement underneath uh, possibly the ugliest house ever. So this guy uh, kinda had it coming, let's be real. All right, I have a tree now. Uh, does it look good? And... Okay, for now, we're just gonna go with this one tree anyway, because this one tree is gonna be the entrance to my secret base. Uh, which I haven't built or mined out yet, so I guess I should do that. Alright guys, I've made possibly the best secret base of all time, and it's completely designed by me. You come over here, you look at this particular copper block at the bottom of this tree. I go bam, and I go bam. The door- OH! OH MY GOD! Bro! <laughs> Okay, we made the secret entrance. We do need to work on the secret room. Though. And I was thinking, if the entire island is made out of overpowered items, I think it would be kind of funny if my base was made out of, like, the cheapest items imaginable. Like, what if we go with a design that's like this? All right, hear me out here. It might not look very good, um, but it is pretty funny. This may be the most beautiful secret base in existence. Uh, I think the jury's still out on that one, uh, but hopefully they'll give us their answer soon. There is one small problem, uh, is that there's no exit. I can't leave, I think. I need to make one of those. This is gonna be maybe the most high-tech thing you've ever seen, uh, so just prepare yourself, all right? So you press the button, hold on. All right, the incredibly cool looking and high-tech base is complete. You drop down here to this beautiful room. We got our chest, we got our storage, we got our dirt. Uh, it's looking pretty good. So now I'm thinking that we get some diamonds because I wanna turn all these lakes into diamonds and the lakes are a little bit large. I mean, they're not that large, but if I need one diamond block for every block of lake, uh, they're, they're pretty large. And as far as I know, the fastest way to get diamonds is through diamond miners. Now, the main thing that I need for the diamond miners is ancient debris, uh, but I don't have any of that, so... Ooh, if I get a wither skeleton skull in the next 10 seconds, then I win. Oh my god! Oh my god! Don't know why I thought that was a good idea. I'm gonna go home. These two pillars, it means that there's diamonds underneath here. So I've got to build the tunnel bores under them. Well, this is off to a good start. I haven't even built a tunnel bore yet. So we start off. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. I hope you guys know I've had to go up and out of this stupid cave every single time I've forgotten an item. This time I forgot a slime block. I'm gonna flick this note block, it should work. Oh, it launched. Stuff is exploding, okay. We're boring right now. We are so boring. Oh, wait, there's diamonds. This already worked and I already got diamonds, that's crazy. Now I was thinking I could build multiple of these because probably better to do that, I would assume. We now have two tunnel borers after only a couple minor setbacks. Bam, didn't break anything. What? Oh, I'm gonna use these for like a half an hour and see how much I get. All right, we have a stack and one diamond ores. All right, let's go mine these diamonds. All right, two and a half stacks of diamonds. Not bad. Now, how many diamond blocks does that equal? 
Let's find out right now. I feel like this is gonna be a disappointing 17. 17 blocks of diamonds for all that. Let's get a start over here. I will say, this is looking pretty nice. You know, once we actually get this all done, it's gonna look pretty nice. Guys, the diamond mining, uh, it took a lot out of me, okay? We're heading back to the raid farm, tried and true. I sit there and I click. Oh, somebody AFK'd here. I just get free emerald. Look at this. Okay, I've AFK'd at the raid farm some more and I have a lot more emeralds, but there's one thing that's been really annoying me. This is the most unorganized storage system ever. There's no storage system at all. It sucks, it's terrible, and I have to go in manually and take out all these emeralds. It's maybe the worst thing ever. So I wanna build an actual storage system for this. It's gonna be a little bit difficult, but luckily I'm a redstone master, so it won't even be a problem for me. So to build it, I need to get chests, packed ice, and redstone. This is why the storage system sucks so much, because I can't even find items that I need to build the storage system. I can't find any redstone. I'm just gonna mine for it. Yo, a desert temple. God apple. God apple. Oh. Oh! Oh! Oh hey, my god. Bro! 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 <laughs> You're so trash. I guess maybe if I wasn't wearing leather armor, I wouldn't have died to that. Um, I just spent like an hour getting all my stuff back, uh, including all the materials for the storage system. So now it's time to build it. Unfortunately, my friends decided to come over. Miles broke more chests. Yeah, well, I, I can tell. Luckily, they eventually got bored and left and I was able to finish the sorter. All right, time to find out if the thing I spent hours building actually works. All right, it seems like it's working, which is good. I mean, I, at least I haven't broken anything. Oh, there's items getting stuck right there. There we go. All right, emerald storage is working. Redstone's working. Gunpowder's working. Nice. Glowstone's working. Oh my God. Okay, dude, it, like, it works perfectly. Like, I'm actually a genius at following the tutorial of someone who's way smarter than me. All right, I got a lot more emeralds. So with my newly acquired emeralds, I want to make some more progress on making making this island uh, expensive. So unfortunately, I lost my emerald wand, uh, which means I'm just gonna have to use a little bit of a different method. All right, that should be good. And then I just do this. It should work. Whew. Dude, I, I'm glad I have that power. Because otherwise, I would have to spend hours and hours placing an insane amount of emerald blocks. Oh man, glad I don't have to do that. Look at how much emeralds are on this island. Now this is actually insane. Unfortunately, my diamonds are looking uh, embarrassing. You know what else is embarrassing? Uh, my levels are all gone. You know why? Say someone has a gun to your head and they give you an emerald. Like, do you think you could bite them? Like, the emerald? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Are you serious? But anyway, we're like almost done with the emeralds and like none of the way done with the diamonds. So I need to get a large amount of diamonds real fast or real slow. I don't know how long this is gonna take. This is kind of crazy to fly through these tunnels, but it's kind of fun. I want to build more tunnel borers because, you know, currently I go like bam, bam, you know, it's okay. It, it bores a little bit, but I need to be more boring. We have now doubled our, well, we have now doubled our tunnel borer count. And so let's see if these actually work or if they break. Let's go, it's working. And you, do you work? It's, it's looking good. All right, oh, dude. With four tunnel borers now, we can just kind of run across here. I mean, we can go crazy. Oh, uh oh. What happened? Let's see if we can fix it. Let's see. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Oh, oh nah. Oh, come on. Bro. Oh, oh. Wow. My diamond miners keep blowing themselves up. Oh, don't blow it up. Oh. And. Okay, we need a different solution to this because this keeps blowing up and. You know, it's not even that efficient. Like, I'm not even getting that many diamonds. Now, we have nine diamond blocks, which is fine, I guess. It's actually sad how little of a dent that made in the amount of water I have to do. So, out of ideas, I called a friend to help me. Here, I'll call- Nice netherite the armor there. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, it's, um, it's real. This is Wumba, a player who used to hold the world record for the most amount of diamonds mined. How many diamonds did you mine? I believe it was about 15,900. That's, that's a pretty good amount. So I built a couple of tunnel bores, but I had a little bit of a problem because they were kind of slow and they also kept blowing themselves up. Okay, there's good news and there's bad news. W what would you like first? Let's, you know, let's take the good news first. Let's take the good news first. The good news is these trenchers that you've been running have actually created a space for a much easier and much much better trencher that you could be using but the bad news i would need to destroy all of my old ones and build completely new boards thing you gotta know about me all right i don't quit nothing's gonna stop me from boring tunnels
All right, I'm gonna try it out, guys. You guys have to have a really good reaction. Are you guys ready? If this doesn't yeah, work, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm logging okay. off for the night and not logging back on ever. All right. Oh, no, that looks good, okay. actually. Okay. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's go! Oh. Let's go! Please it put works. us in the video. Let's see. Are you just wearing leather? Mm -hmm. Why? Act broke to stay rich. Dude, tunnel boring is really fun. It's like we all yearn to dig just large tunnels and blow stuff up. And this lets us do that while still being productive. As fun as the diamond mining is, I also need to address some other problems. Problem number one is the trees, because I need these trees to be like that tree, but like all of them. And the first thing I'm gonna need to do that is a lot of copper, but I have a dirty little secret, guys. And it's that uh, there's also like some exposed dirt uh, and I need this to be copper too. And if you think it's lazy, then I'm gonna use the same block for the trees as it is for the dirt. Then I'm gonna tell you that maybe you should build this island, all right? And see how see how much work it is. And see see if you're gonna be starting to cut a few corners here and there, okay? Apparently this copper farm is in the end, uh, which is not, whoa, which is not uh, really somewhere I'd expect it to be. This might not look like much, but apparently this is a farm that will create thousands of copper an hour. Now, I have to lure some zombies. All right guys, ENXO4 said that you guys would walk in if I stand here. So let's see if that's true. Oh, dude, dude, <laughs> they didn't, bro, okay, there we go, we got them all in, I just gotta hop in here, stand at the armor stand, close the trap door, that doesn't really close too well, oh, it's working, it's working, let's go, okay, according to my entity counter, <laughs> there are 300, oh my god, there's a lot of zombies here, so I'm gonna show you guys how it works, so basically, when I hit a zombie, here, I'll hit a zombie right now, that triggers the zombie's reinforcement mechanic, which basically spawns a bunch of zombies uh, to come and kill them. And you can build this in the end because zombie reinforcements can still spawn there. But the end is great because it's really flat and stuff. There's no caves underneath, which means all the zombies spawn over here. And then they all come into here, and then I hit them. Every time I hit them, there's a chance that a reinforcement spawns. Which lets me get, let's see how many zombies we have. 500 zombies uh, in a small location in the end in like no time. Okay, after AF Kang, we got two and a half stacks of copper. That's pretty good. Now I can finally start building trees. Okay, it took like maybe four trees for me to run out of Amethyst, so I think it's time to go geo cracking. Yo, I just spent so long trying to- Yo, editing bacon here. Is it crazy or does that look exactly like a smiley face? Like- I'm kind of like the Lorax, but if instead of like trying to protect trees, he just- rebuilt them out of copper and amethyst, which I think personally would have made a much better story. Oh, I also can't forget to place down the diamonds. We have, oh wow, almost a stack of diamond blocks. Let's do some filling in. Okay, honestly, pretty good progress. Oh man, man, from up here, it, it just does not look like the progress is as good. I'm kind of bored of using tunnel boards, but I have an idea that I think can get me a lot of diamonds while I have to do literally no work. And that idea, is a diamond mining competition. Basically, if I convince a bunch of people to mine diamonds for a competition, I can just take all the diamonds at the end for myself. Somehow, no one figured out the event was just a way for me to get free labor, though some people did seem a little unprepared. He's only wearing iron pants, and I'm not sure if he has any other possessions. Um, and I just had to hope that no one figured out my actual plan. Hey man, you should, you should probably get going, man. Okay, so this competition has two main goals. So the first one, uh, it's, you know, to get people to mine diamonds for me. But the second one, I want to see if my diamond tunneling system is more efficient than other people's just normal mining. It better be, all right? It better be. But if it isn't, I think I'm gonna have to reconsider some stuff and, and possibly choose an entirely new uh, life life goal. So to make sure that doesn't happen, yesterday I built six more tunnel bores. Hopefully that's enough. Everything was going well. I was racking up diamonds until, oh, wow. Sometimes if you're really focused on diamonds, you forget about other important things like totems and the fact that you're wearing leather armor. I tried to push through and keep mining, but I wasted a lot of time getting back to my tunnel and also because I died again. At the end of the day though, I didn't lose anything um, other than my dignity from everyone seeing my deaths in chat. And luckily everyone else was getting diamonds from me anyway, though they didn't know it yet. All right, everybody deposit their diamonds. No checking other people's diamonds, right? Everyone stand at your own diamonds and I'll come around and I'll check. Hey, right, stop looking at the diamonds, Miles! Look Miles! at those, look at those, look at those, look at those. And finally, it was time to announce the winners. Okay, fifth place is Rasmus. Rasmus got less than a stack of diamonds. I don't understand how you did that, like that few diamonds. The winner of the diamond mining competition. Tazo somehow. Yeah. How? How did he do that? Yes. How? Oh, and he just killed him. He killed Tazo. And now I just have to take all the diamonds without anyone noticing. Tazo got 173 diamonds. What? How? Oh, oh, I lost by not that hey, much. Hey, hey, Miles, come back here. Put the diamonds oh, back I'm in. Fine. I suppose I should give you your prize now, Tazo. I got you a maxed out pair of shears. Oh, then we got yeah, a maxed a out flint and wait, steel. You can put a fish wait, what? And of course, we have no. to give you a maxed out netherite hoe. Woo! 
Woo! Netherite hose. <laughs> yeah, let's go. You know, I had to make the prize good. So you got a max set of tools. Just maybe not the tools that everyone would expect. Oh, so. <laughs> no, no, that looks pretty on <laughs> the standard. Oh, wait, did, did, did Bacon take all the diamonds? Well, I mean, I ran this event. You know, it only, it only makes sense that, that, the, that the, the manager of the event would take a percentage. The percentage of the, is 100. Of the well. That was incredibly successful. A stack and six diamond blocks in one hour. I mean, that's that's the most efficient uh, most efficient farm ever. Who knew that you could just have the other people do the manual labor for you? I did a little bit of mining last night as well, and we currently have two stacks of diamond blocks uh, that we can use to place down. That better be like most of what I need. All right, let's place these all down. Okay, it almost covered all the water. So the diamond section's almost done, but I also can't forget about finishing the emeralds. So let's just finish it. Currently, I'm staring at how many wardens is this? 70? This seems a tad, um... Excessive. Bam. All right, look at that. All of these diamonds are filled in. This little lake is filled in, and this little lake is filled in. And we even got diamonds to spare. All right, we're we're kind of rich at this point. So now, uh, we gotta unsand this entire place, and then just replace it all with gold. There's no real verb for that. I'll just I'll just say gold it. We're gonna gold it. Um, I've learned what the wardens are for. They're a mob switch. They keep every single mob from spawning uh, in the Nether. Now this is a bit of an issue, uh, because if you guys didn't know. Uh, pigmen spawn in the nether. Now, according to a video, the only way to make it not do that is to unload the chunks that the wardens are in. Unfortunately, the wardens are right next to the gold farm. Oh god, I have to make a new one. Being a Minecraft YouTuber is really hard. Now, this farm is supposed to work is pretty simple. Basically, pigmen spawn all the way down here and up here. They really want to eat the turtle egg because it looks nice and delicious. They come over, try and eat it, get teleported through the portal, and then I slaughter them uh, in large quantities. So the farm should be working uh, once I go through any of these portals. We hop on over here. Oh, almost just fell. And now, what should happen is zombie pigmen should start coming through, I think. Oh, it's because the warden mob switch is still powered. All I should have to do, come over here, click this lever down, uh, get the darkness effect apparently. Now, we should be able to head back here. Bam, land here. Now they should start coming in. Please, I'll just sit here and I'll wait. Yes, yes, it's working. Wow, that's a lot of zombie pigmen. Oh, wow, I can just start killing. This is actually awesome. Here, I'll turn on the sound so you guys can really experience it. This is actually crazy how easy this was to build. All right, I have AFK'd the gold farm a good amount and I have a couple stacks of gold. I don't think it's gonna be enough to finish the sand part, but I think I can at least make a good amount of progress. As I always say, it's time to replace all the sand on this island uh, with gold. Are you recording? Yeah. This is looking absolutely insane so far, but I'm excited to see how, how it looks near the end of the video. Now say one more line. Um, hi. Okay, um, so I've placed down all the gold blocks. Whoa, that looks absolutely insane. Well, no, the point is that, uh, it's not a lot. I need so many more gold blocks. Oh my god. Guys, I have a huge problem. I'm kinda out of gold. I'm gonna de uh. I'm gonna start deafening when I when I do my voice lines. So I need about 500,000 more nuggets of gold. And speaking of 500,000, I'm trying to hit 500k subs by the end of the year, which means I need to literally double my sub count. It's not gonna be easy, but if literally everyone watching this subscribed, it would get me there. I don't actually think that's gonna happen, but if you subscribe, it'll at least help. Anyways, I need gold. Okay, so if I wanna make this farm fully AFK, -able, I need to add a sorting system and I need to add a regeneration two beacon because I don't wanna starve to death. All right, now I think I just have to do this. Well, that um, felt a tad too easy. I think I finished the sorting system. This didn't actually take too long. Ow. It is working. You know, this really doesn't look like it should work, but I think the items drop down here. The slime block, uh, as we can see, launches it there. They somehow go into the hoppers, and then the rest uh, go into sulfide. All right, let's head down to the storage system to make sure it's working. Oh, yes, it is. Here we go. Oh, my God. It's actually working. Okay, so it looks like when I'm starving to death, um, the regen beacon heals me, uh, so I survive. I'm in constant agony. Uh but I do survive. So I can AFK this and not be dead. Yay. This this is going to good haul. This collection system it was a very good choice. I'm glad I built it. All right. So as we can see, boom, more gold. And so uh, I just got to place all the gold down. At least breaking sand is kind of fun. It gets old pretty quickly though. All right. That is all my gold. Let's see how much have we been able to do. Oh, that's, that's pretty solid actually. That is pretty solid. Now, you know what? Dude, we got this, dude. We're actually like, we're getting there, you know? We're getting there. All right, uh, I got a, a bit of gold, and you can see I'm almost at 500 levels. Uh, this is taking a lot of AFK. Okay, so luckily, I don't think I have to place this all down, because I can just grab one of these, and I think I just have to build a little one of these. All right, and then I should just be able to, if I can do this right. Oh, shoot. Let's just try, bam! What the? Bro, what? Bro. Okay, I think this one took me to the wrong place. Hold up, let me just boom. 
All right, there we go. We are all golded up. Unfortunately, we're still not done. Uh, we have some trees that are not copper yet. We have some gravel that I guess I'll turn to iron blocks. And we have um, a lot of dirt that I need to make copper. But most importantly, I think that this island needs some place to live. You know, it's kind of pointless to have an island uh, and just have it be a bunch of trees. So I'm gonna build a house right here. All right, guys, the dirt has been replaced with copper. Oh, uh, that's not supposed to happen. That's not all I did. Boom, I made the nether portal uh, in into this. All the leaves are amethyst, all the netherrack is redstone, and the portal I think the portal looks kind of cool. And of course, we're not going to be broken of a gold block up there. All right? It's a diamond block, all right? We, we have cool portals. But last but not least, we have the base. Um, it's not the craziest base ever. Um, I designed it with some help from friends. And uh, it looks okay. You know, it looks good enough. But the problem is, it doesn't have anything inside of it. So I think I need to make a bedroom and uh, whatever else I want in here. All right, my home has now been decorated. We got a bedroom over here, beautifully furnished, amazing decorations. Wow, look at this. We come down here into a lovely living area with a nice couch, uh, a big flower pot because these exist now. And if we turn around, um, we have this. If you're wondering what this does, um, you'll find out soon. Because let's be real here, what's the point of being rich if you don't have anyone to show your vast amount of riches to? So I'm gonna invite all my friends to my island to see if they can answer one simple question. How much is it all worth? I've been working on something for a little bit. Yeah, yeah for, for about three months, Baker. That was well, a big bit. All right, here, follow me. So if you come on through this portal. Yo, it's a jungle. Follow me. What's that in the... What the hell? Wait, wh <laughs> what is this? What am I looking at? Well, what? How? This looks so cursed. It looks expensive. Oh yeah, oh, okay. don't mind. No. Oh. Bacon, is this for me? Cause I'm, I'm so beautiful and awesome. This is, this is for me. Oh, you brought me here to flex in my face. You're just like those Instagram flexes yeah. from back in the yeah, day. Yeah, exactly. What's in this house? Oh, is this, this, like is, this is my little mansion. Now check this out, all right? This Yo. is my fountain. Oh. <laughs> what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, wait, 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 you're not supposed to tell you this, this is my fountain. I was trying to help. You're dropping all of your diamonds. You're just burning riches. Yeah, because I'm so rich. I don't need them. Well, I don't need them either. I'm just very intrigued at how you got all this honey. That looks so sick, though, to be fair. I mean, I, I, I'm just watching everything that I could have burned in front of me. All right, so I have a question, Miles. How much do you think this island is worth in um in dollars? I mean, this this like lake here must be worth at least a few billion. 3,178,225 pounds. 56.2 billion. Even one, one trillion dollars. Quick question, are you going to kill me? Am I gonna kill you? No, why would I kill you? Well, you've just been on lifesteal. I didn't know if this was a trap, maybe. No, well, okay, um, this would be a, I... a pretty elaborate trap. I think that the diamond blocks for a trap would maybe be a, a little excessive. I agree. Um, In hindsight, now knowing all this, uh, I I've also got a confession. I gotta come clean. I've been spying on you for weeks with no idea what this thing's been. But I've- are you, Like you've seen me doing this? I- Follow me. Welcome to my what? operation. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> I've had a lookout every time I we've been on and you've been working on it. I've been over here spying, taking notes because I thought it was like some trap because I was like, oh God, lifesteal man come on and wants to do top secret project on server. I might die. What? This is insane. What? <laughs> Okay, you're gonna have to tell me which days like you were on the island so I can look through my recording and see if I can see you. Oh, I saw it. Oh, I saw oh, it. I saw particles. What you up to, Bacon? He asked while standing behind a tree watching me. That's insane. <laughs> that is insane. So soon, we're just gonna see that thing right there. Oh, oh, there, and it is. there it is. This is crazy. This is from this is my perspective. You can see me right there. Oh my god. And, and then, then it, it closed, closed it off. The next <laughs> I had no idea. And so if I if I pause and I just hit oh chief guy, <laughs> just standing there, just freaking out. What? Uh, so anyways, the island is seventy eight trillion dollars. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs>